Isso aí. Jesus, I surrender all to Thee, my freely give. I will ever love and trust You in Your presence daily live. I surrender all. I surrender. Savior, I surrender all. all to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender I surrender, Lord, I give myself to Thee. Fill me with Your love and power. Let Your blessing fall on me. I surrender all. I surrender all. Savior, I surrender all. all to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. I surrender of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Glory to God in the higher. Amen. Glory to God in the higher. Amen. Glory to God in the higher. Amen. And 
on earth, peace and good hope to men at all times and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, holy, holy, holy art thou. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven and earth are full of the greatness of thy glory. Angels and humans cry to thee, holy, holy, holy art thou. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts and sins, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Praise be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From everlasting to everlasting and forever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, holy, holy, holy art thou. Our Father who art in heaven, heaven and earth are full of the greatness of thy glory. Angels and humans cry to thy holy, holy, holy art thou. Strengthen, O Lord, and overcome our weakness by your compassion, that we may administer the holy mystery which are being given for the renewal and salvation of our weak nature through the mercies of your beloved Son, Lord of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall not your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works I will meditate. The might of your awesome deeds shall be proclaimed, and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your abundant goodness, and shall sing aloud your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and His compassion is over all that He has made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power. To make known to all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, satisfying the desire of every living thing. The Lord is just in all his ways and kind in all his doing. The Lord is near to all who call on him. To all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desire of all who fear him. He also hears their cry and saves them. Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord, and all flesh will bless his holy name forever and ever. Praise be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. From everlasting to everlasting and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs>
my hands in purity and i have encompassed your altar allah lord of all we confess and you jesus christ we glorify for you are the kingner of our bodies and you are the savior of our soul praise be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit from everlasting to everlasting forever and ever amen all we confess and you jesus christ we glorify for you are the kingner of our body and you are the savior of our soul let us pray peace be with us my lord you are truthfully the kingner of our bodies and you are the good savior of our soul in the constant garden of our lives and to you my lord we are indebted to confer worship and praise at all times lord of all father son and holy spirit forever amen lift up your voice all you people and glorify the living god holy god holy mighty holy mortal have mercy upon us praise be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit holy god holy mighty holy mortal have mercy on us from everlasting to everlasting and forever amen God, holy mighty holy mortal have mercy on us holy glorious mighty and immortal who dwells in the saints and who will who has rested then my lord and pity and have mercy upon us as you are accustomed to do at all times lord of all Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Bless you, my Lord. May God, the Lord of all, strengthen you and make you wise in His holy teaching by the grace of His compassion. Amen. Remain in silence for this morning Holy Eucharist service. The scripture portion is taken from Isaiah chapter twelve, one to six. 
you will say in that day i will give thanks to you o oh lord for though you were angry with me your anger turned away and you comforted me surely god is my salvation i will trust and will not be afraid for the lord god is my strength and my might he has become my salvation with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation and you will say in that day give thanks to the lord call on his name make known his deeds among the nations proclaim that his name is exalted sing praise to the lord for the has done glor- gloriously let this be known in all the earth shout aloud and sing for joy o royal zion for great in your midst is the holy one of israel glory to lord peace be with us Enlighten our Lord and our God The impulses of our thoughts to listen attentively And understand the pleasant hearing of your life-giving and divine commandments Grant us by your grace and mercies that we may gain from the Prophet, love, hope and salvation Which are useful for the soul and the body and may we sing to you continual praise without ceasing at all times lord of all father son and holy spirit forever make you wise in his holy teaching and make you as a beautiful mirror to those who listen attentively amen reading from the first epistle of paul the apostle to the corinthians chapter 1 verses 2 verses 10 to 17 Brothers, I urge you through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that you should make up your differences and that you should see to that there may be no divisions among you but that you should be knit together in the same mind and the same opinion. Brothers, it has become all too clear to me from information that I have received from members of close household. that there are outbreaks of strife among you what i mean is this each of you saying i belong to paul i belong to apollos i belong to kephas i belong to christ has christ been partitioned up was it paul's name into which you were baptized as things have turned out i thank god that i baptized none of you except Crispus and Gaius so that no one can say you were baptized into my name now that i think of it i baptized the household of stephanas too for the rest i do not know if i baptized anyone else for christ did not send me to baptize but to proclaim the good news and that not with wisdom of speech lest the cross of christ should be untied of its effectiveness glory to the lord of all let us pray peace be with us the life and light of the universe we glorify you for the eternal mercies who sent to us amen bless oh my lord bless us that oh my my lord which wafted from you at the moment When Mary the sinner pour the fragrant oil upon your head may that be mixed with the incense which we place for your honor and for the pardon of our debts and sins O Lord of all Father Son and Holy Spirit forever Let us all stand in reverence and attention and listen to the holy gospel. 
and with you and with your spirit hallelujah 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 of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the preaching of St. Luke. Glory be to our Christ our Lord. The Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 14 verses 15 to 25. The parable of the great dinner. One of the dinner guests on hearing this said to him, Blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus said to him, Someone gave a great dinner and invited many. At the time for the dinner, he sent his slave to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is ready now. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of land and I must go out and see it. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I am going to try them out. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have just been married and therefore I cannot come. So the slave returned and reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and said to his slave, Go out at once into the streets and lanes of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind and the lame. And the slave said, Sir, what you ordered has been done and there is still room. Then the master said to the slave, Go out into the roads and lanes and cumber people to come in, so that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those who are invited will taste my dinner. Glory be to Christ our Lord. Please be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brother, sisters, and brothers in Christ, it's indeed, I consider, by God's grace, a privilege given to me to be with you today to celebrate the second anniversary, celebrating Holy Kubana in English language at Math Mariam Cathedral Church here in Tichu. In our church, as we all know, we are celebrating Holy Kubana mainly in three languages, Aramaic, Malayalam, and English. When we are thinking of Aramaic, especially the Syrian and Syrian people will come in our mind. When we are thinking of Malayalam, automatically Kerala will come to us. But when we are thinking of English, normally, definitely the faces of youth of our church will come in our mind, especially the youth living outside Kerala. But I really wondered when HRD committee, even maybe two years back, even two years back, with uh, even under the leadership of Deacon V.V. Joseph, suggested that we need Kurbana in English language here in Trishur also. 
that was really a wonder to me because that means that our youth uh, even i feel that going away from our mother home maybe feeling away that they are going away from mother church and mother tongue that's what i was really wondered is it really needed in our church in trichu but of course we all know that our new generation they are trained in english medium schools and some of them are not able to read malayalam or some of not able to write malayalam so in that case we are just compensating with the young with youth we, when we are doing this kubhana anyway when we are looking at when we are thinking of the youths yesterday it was international youth day it was celebrated on every august 12 as we all know it is to raise awareness on issues faced by the youths worldwide the primary purpose of celebrating this day is to raise voices against any injustice or discrimination against youth but it was surprised to see that international youth day in 2022 the theme for it was intergenerational solidarity creating a world for all ages that's what the theme for this year intergenerational solidarity that means there is some problem with generations because we all know that there is a generation gap old generation the new gen new generation and they identified there is a problem between intergenerational even in between the generations and they been trying to do a intergenerational solidarity and to achieve the sustainable development goals the world needs to leverage the full potential of all generations that's what zn even the un secretary general recently said solidarity across generations is key for sustainable development therefore he says we must collaborate to foster successful and equitable intergenerational relations and partnerships to ensure no one is left behind if that is the case we all know that it's a tough task for the youth to be the mediators between the generations even the old generation and the new generation even here today in today's gospel reading from the book of st luke 14 chapter 15 to 25 we heard the parable of the great dinner this parable poignantly and powerfully portrays god's principle of inclusion in the egalitarian community it is not that we exclude some and include others the one who were invited in the beginning exclude themselves giving excuses and not by the giver of the banquet but they made themselves the great banquet or the great dinner is a sign and metaphor for the rejoicing and celebration in the egalitarian community of god's redeemed people a banquet is also table fellowship our kubana that is a sign of relationships of acceptance what's the point of this parable when we are thinking it is to show that an egalitarian community has no exclusion and those formally not accepted are accepted and those formally not included are included and those formally not invited in are invited in that is the result of this table fellowship what may be the barriers that make us exclude anyone there is no barriers if you are looking at in these lines lord of the banquet i would say may help us include not just the ones whom we think are worthy to participate in all our celebrations but also 
the ones found in the alleys and byways of life. May God help us with these words. Thank you. stand up as it is right with joy and rejoicing let us beseech and say our oh lord have mercy upon us our lord have mercy upon us father of mercies and god of all consolation we beseech you our oh lord have mercy upon us for us and the supplier of all things we beseech you. Our oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Tranquility, harmony and security of the whole world and of all the churches we beseech you. Our oh Lord, have mercy upon us. In all lands and for all those of the faith who dwell in them we beseech you. Our oh Lord, have mercy upon us. For the climate and seasonable year, for the yield of the fruits and for the prosperity of the whole world we beseech you. Our oh Lord, have mercy upon us. For the welfare of our holy fathers, Marava, Catholicos, Patriarch, Mara Primetropolitan, Mara Mariogannan, Mara Gin Episcopi, and all those who served under them, we beseech you. Our oh Lord, have mercy upon us. O God, who by His mercy governs us all, we beseech you. Our oh Lord, have mercy oh upon us. With mercy and overflowing with compassion, we beseech you. Our oh Lord, have mercy upon us. By His nature, good. And the giver of all good things, we beseech you. Our oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Glorified in heaven and worshipped on earth, we beseech you. Our oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Nature possesses immortality and dwells in the splendid light, we beseech you. Our oh Lord, have mercy upon us. All, O Christ, our Lord, in your grace. Increase among us your tranquility and peace, and have mercy upon us. O oh Lord, have, have mercy, mercy upon us. Let us commit ourselves and one another to the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. To you, o Lord, Lord, our God. Unto you, Lord, God of us, we supplicate and ask fulfill with us your grace. And pour through us your gift, and may the mercies and compassion of your God her. Be for the pardon of the debts of your people and for the forgiveness of the sins of all the flock of your pasture whom you have chosen for yourself in your grace and mercy so good one the friend of mankind Lord of all Father, Son and Holy Spirit forever Amen Bless oh my Lord position of hands and receive the blessing. Then grant unto us, my Lord, in your compassion that we may all together equally all the days of our lives please your Godhead with the good works of righteousness which may content and satisfy the glorious will of your Lordship. And may we be made worthy with the aid of your grace to lift up to you. Praise, honor, thanksgiving and worship at all times, Lord of all. Father, Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Who has not received baptism, let him depart. Who has not accepted the sign of life, let him depart. Who does not receive the oblation, let him depart. Go hear us and see the doors. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. The body of Christ and His precious blood upon the holy altar. Let us all draw near to Him in fear and in love. And be Sing along, oh. 
to your glorious trinity at all times and forever. Amen. Christ who was sacrificed for our salvation and who commanded us to make a remembrance of his death, burial and resurrection, accept this sacrifice from our hearts. are placed and arranged upon the absolving altar until the coming of our Lord the second time from heaven to whom be glory at all times and forever Amen Praise be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit Upon the holy altar May there be a memory Of our Virgin Mary The mother of Lord Christ Amen. Everlasting to everlasting and forever Amen O Apostle Son and friends of Christ only the important pray for peace on earth. Let all the people say Amen and Amen. You are commemoration, our Father is upon the holy altar. With the Jesuit victorious and the martyrs who have been crowned. Then till in unison with the grave. Behold, the, the Father have fallen asleep, asleep in your home, in your home that in the glorious, glorious resurrection, resurrection you may raise them up in glory. Let us pray, pray peace be with, with us. With the graces and mercies, let our Lord Jesus be with us forever. God, the Father Almighty, maker of all things visible and invisible, and, and in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, the only the Son of God, God the firstborn of all creation, who was begotten of His Father, before all worlds and not made, true God of God and true God, of one essence with His Father, by whose hands the worlds were established, and all things were created, who for us humans and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and was made man, and was conceived, and born of the Virgin Mary, and suffered, and was crucified in the days of Pontius Pilate, and was buried, and rose on the third day, according to the scriptures, and ascended to heaven, and sat down at the right and shall come again to judge the dead, and shall come again to judge the dead and the living, who proceeds from the Father, the life-giving Spirit, and in one holy and apostolic Catholic Church, and we acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and the resurrection of our bodies, and the life forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, peace be with us. Pray for the memorial of our fathers, the Catholic and bishops, and of all the priests and deacons and young men and virgins, 
and of all those who have died and departed from this world in this true faith and of all our fathers and brothers pray for the memorial of our sons and daughters and all the faithful christ loving kings and of all the prophets and apostles and of all the martyrs and confessors here in every place pray that god may crown all thy resurrection from the dead and give us with them a good hope portion life and inheritance in the kingdom of heaven so my love oh this kurban is offered for all the living and the dead may it be accepted from my sinful love before the fearful judgment seat of your majesty of lord with the confidence amen bless you my lord may this kurban amen may this kurban be accepted by the confidence and may it be sanctified by the word of god and by the holy spirit that it may be a benefit to us and salvation and life forever and ever in the kingdom of heaven by the grace of christ bless my love May Christ receive your prayers. May Christ receive your kurbana, and may Christ adorn your priesthood in the kingdom of heaven. And may He be pleased with His sacrifice, which you offer for yourself and for us, and for the whole world, which looks for and awaits His grace and His mercy forever. Amen. to you praise on our thanksgiving and worship now and at all times and forever and ever amen peace be with you and with you and with your spirit, spirit. give peace to one another in the love of and love in the love of christ for all catholic bishops presbyters and deacons and the whole company of the departed from the assembly of the church and for the life and tranquility of the world and for the crown of the year that it may be blessed and perfected in your grace and for every child of the church who is worthy of the reception of this kurbana which is before you and for all your servants and handmaidens who stands before you at that deserve for all of the men for all of us may the kurbana be accepted forever and ever let us all confess beseech and supplicate the lord in purity and lamentation all stand up right and behold those things that are performed in the fearful mysteries which are being consecrated the priest has drawn near to pray that by his medi- mediation peace be and peace may be multiplied unto you cast down your eyes and lift up your thoughts to heaven watchfully and diligently beseech and supplicate at this hour and let no man dare to speak 
Who's ever pray, let him pray in his heart, in silence and in fear, stand and pray, peace be with us. The mirror and the law of Nico, the most of my Lord, your holy body was embalmed on the day of your burial. And with this incense, we to your worshippers do sense your entombed body as with ointment. Let it therefore be blessed and our Lord with your grace, and may it fulfill the mystery, and may it bring absolution to our dead sins, in so that it may be pleasant fragrance to you, to your Father and to the Holy Spirit, now and at all time and forever and ever. and incense which we offer you before your holy altar within your glorious temple please you and may it be for the gladness of your holy name and for the pardon of your servants and of your flock father and son and holy spirit forever Strengthen you to do his work continually. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and at all times forever and ever. Let your minds be above. Unto you, O God of Abraham, and of Isaac, and of Israel, O glorious King. The Kurbana is being offered to God, the Lord of all. It is befitting and right. Bless the my my brother May Christ hear your, your prayers. prayers. May Christ receive your, your kurbana. And, and may Christ adorn your priesthood in the kingdom, the kingdom of, of heaven, and may we be pleased with this sacrifice which you offer for yourself and for us, and for the whole world, which looks for heaven, David, for his grace, and his, and his mercy, mercy forever. forever. Amen. without ceasing and calling one to another and saying Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the higher Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the higher Lord, we lift up your name, with your heart we will pray, be exalted, O Lord, our God, Hosanna in the higher, glory, glory, glory to the King of kings, up your name, with our heart will we pray, be exalted the Lord of God, Hosanna in the higher. 
May Christ hear your prayers, may Christ see your good man, and may Christ sit on your priesthood in the kingdom of heaven, and may he be pleased with this sacrifice which you offer for yourself and for us, and for the whole world which looks for you and by his grace and mercy and his mercy forever. Amen. In for all your aids and graces to us, we will lift up to you praise, honor, thanksgiving, and worship now and at all times and forever and ever. Amen. In your minds, peace be with us. Have in Jesus all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what is we open for fee? Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Trials and temptation is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful? Who will all of sorrow share? Jesus knows of every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. And may Christ sit on your priesthood in the kingdom of heaven, and may he be pleased with his sacrifice, which you offer for yourself and for us, and for the whole world, which looks for his grace, his mercy forever. Amen. All may kneel and bow their heads In silence and you know, be standing and praying Peace be with us In may there come my Lord, you are Holy Spirit, and may He rest upon this Kurbana of your servant. May He bless it and hallow it, and may it be for us, my Lord, for the pardon of death, the forgiveness of sins. The great hope of resurrection from the dead And for new life in the kingdom of heaven With all who have been well-pleasing before you 
and for all this great and marvelous privilege to us uh, we will confess you and praise you without ceasing in your church which is served by the precious blood of your Christ with open mouths and revealed faces with open mouths and revealed faces While lifting up glory and honor and thanksgiving and worship to your living and holy and all life giving name, now and at all times and forever and ever. Amen. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will condition and took delight in our return. Pardon my debts and sins, those which I know and those which I know not, by your grace and mercy. of your grace, our Lord and our God, draw us near to this glorious, holy, life-giving and divine mystery, though we are not worthy. In truth, O oh my Lord, we are not worthy. Have pity on us, O my Lord, though we are 
Lord, though we are not worthy, through our frailty, our frailty because, because of, of our many sins. Sin. The mercifulness of your grace, O Lord and our God, draw us near to thee. Glorious, holy, life-giving and divine mysteries Though we are not worthy Truth, truth O oh my Lord, Lord, we are not worthy Have pity on us, us O oh my Lord, Lord we are we not are worthy Through, through our frailty, because of our many sins Mercifulness of your grace, our Lord and our God, draw us near to these glorious, holy, life giving, and divine mysteries. Though we are not worthy, truth, oh my Lord, we are not worthy. Have pity on us, oh my Lord, though we are not worthy. Through our frailty, because of our mistakes. Praise be to your holy name, our Lord Jesus Christ, and worship to your Lordship at all times forever. Amen. Indeed, the living and life-giving bread, which descended from heaven and gives life to the whole world in its entirety. For those who eat of it do not die, and those who receive it are saved by it, and by it are pardoned and live forever. Amen. Glory to you, my Lord. Amen. Bless you, my Lord. Glory to you, my Lord. Amen. Glory to you, my Lord. Amen. Bless you, my Lord. For you are gift to us, us which is unspeakable forever. Amen. Amen. See, therefore, that it is I. I, I am the bread. Which came down from on high, our Savior said to his disciples, Who saw in love come and receives me, surely lives in me and gains a great kingdom. Glorious, holy, life-giving, and divine mysteries are take upon our Lord, perfecter, fulfill, uniter, coming good and sealed one with another in the worshipful and glorious, in name of the glorious Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That they be to us, O oh my Lord, for the pardon of my death and the forgiveness of sins, for the great hope of the resurrection from the dead, and for the new life in the kingdom of heaven, to us and to the holy church of Christ our Lord, here and everywhere. Now, always, and forever, and ever. Amen. He whose hands are clean and pure in his heart. When the priest enters before the altar, he extends his hand purely to heaven and calls the Spirit. Coming from on high, alloying body and the blood of
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and of the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and at all times and forever and ever. Amen. Let us all in heaven reverence draw near to the mysteries of the precious blood, body and the blood of our Savior. With a pure heart and with true faith, let us remember his passion and consider his resurrection for the only begotten of God for our sake. Took of mankind a mortal body and a rational, intelligent and immortal soul and by his life-giving laws and his holy commandments has brought us out of error to the knowledge of truth and after all his dispensation for us, he, the first fruit of our nature, was lifted up on the cross. He rose from the dead and was being taken up into the heaven. He has delivered to us his holy mysteries that in them we might commemorate all his grace towards us. Let us therefore with all flowing love and a humble will receive the gift of everlasting life. With pure prayer and many false sorrow, let us partake in the mysteries of the church and in the hope of repentance while we turn from our foolishness and grieving for our sins and asking mercy for forgiveness from the God, the Lord of all. Lord our God, absolve the sins and transgressions of your servants. O oh Lord, please forgive the sins and transgression of our fellow beings. And we purify our consciences from divisions and strife. O oh Lord, please forgive the sins and transgression of our fellow beings. While our souls being cleared from anger and enmity. O oh Lord, please forgive the sins and transgression of our Let fellow us beings. Let the holy thing and O oh Lord by the Holy Spirit. O oh Lord, please forgive the sins and transgression of our fellow with beings. With harmony and concord of our minds. Let us receive in peace. One with one another, the communion of the mysteries. O oh Lord, please forgive the sins and transgression of our fellow beings. God may be to us, O oh my Lord, for the resurrection of our bodies and the salvation of our soul. And, and the life forever and ever. Let us pray, peace be with us. And make us worthy, O oh Lord, and our God. To continually and without blame and stand before you with a pure heart and revealed face and with that confidence which is from you given to us in mercy that we may all equally call on you and thus we say Our oh, Father who are in heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it's in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts and sins as we also have forgiven. Our debtor, lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and glory. For thine is the kingdom, the power and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Yes, our Lord and our God, we ask of you and supplicate the mercifulness of your grace. Do not, my Lord, do not, my Lord, bring us into trial, but save us, deliver us from the evil one and his horse. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the might and the strength and the dominion in heaven and on earth. 
now and at all times and forever amen with you and with your spirit the holy thing to the holy ones is fitting in perfection one and holy father one and holy begot and son one and holy spirit praise to the father son and the holy spirit forever and amen to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit holy god holy mighty holy immortal have mercy on us from everlasting to everlasting forever Dear members in Christ, actually we are in a very glorious and in a happy mood of secondary celebration, second anniversary celebration of our English Holy Kurbana in the Martha Mariam Big Church. Let us hope this Kurbana will be a fruitful and a spiritual guidance to the youth who are not much fluent in our mother tongue Malayalam. And also there is uh, some announcement is that uh, we are placing a book uh, gate to holy kurbana uh, in between uh, in front of the church you can take that book at free of cost to your uh, house and no need to pay it is free of cost and it will help you to take active participation in the holy kurbana uh, in the coming months uh, the next holy kurbana is here in Martha Maria Big Church is on September 11th that is the second Saturday second Sunday that is on September 11th morning 7.30 we are planning to conduct the next English Holy Kurbana uh, in this church announcements are over thank you be prepared for the absolution Let us prepare ourselves before taking part in Kubana. Let's read the following prayer in silently. I stand at the door of your holy altar as I am confessing my evil thoughts and wicked works before you. O my merciful Lord Jesus Christ, our true God of the nature of his Father, you by the mercy of your merciful nature did forgive the tax collector by the grace of your love accept the Canaanite woman by the goodness of your grace did open the doors of paradise to the criminal to him who denied you three times you gave the key to your kingdom open also unto me the door of the mercifulness of your divine and parentally love Accept in me as I draw near and touch your pure and holy body. Just as a sinful woman who only touched your feet and received forgiveness of sins, and the woman with the flowing of blood 
who touched your garment and was healed. And as I am a sinner, a day to take upon my hands your holy and life-giving body. May it not be unto me vengeance and burning, but accept me as one of them, and cleanse the spots of my sins, and enlighten my soul by your divine light. For you are the light and life of the world, Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Barikuma Bhaktan Ho O our good God and full of mercy O our good God and full of mercy Whose grace and compassion are abundant upon all For O my Lord the kindness of your blessed love on the servants of your Transform them in the hope of renewal to the life of repentance. Renew in them your Holy Spirit, by whom they are sealed for the day of salvation. And purify them in your kindness from all the blemishes of the flesh and of the spirit. Strengthen the hope of their belief by the help of your grace. Make straight the gates of their deeds in the paths of righteousness. Make them to rejoice with the saints in your kingdom in the confirmation of the hope of their faith, of the adoption of the sonship, and in the joy of your absolving mystery. Strengthen them by the aid of your mercy to observe your commandments and to fulfill your will to confess, worship and glorify your holy name. O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Here is one Christ is with us is with us Break the bread Taste the wine Christ is with us here In this bread There is healing In this cup there's life forever in this moment by the Spirit Christ is with us here here is grace here is peace Christ is with us he is with us, know His grace, find His peace, on Jesus here. In this bread there is healing, in this cup there's life forever, in this moment by the Spirit. Christ is with us here.
I have desired to follow Jesus. I have desired to follow Jesus. I have desired to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I will follow you, Jesus. I will follow you, Jesus. I will follow you, Jesus. I will follow you. The world behind me, the cross before me. Let us all therefore, who by the gift of grace of the Holy Spirit have drawn near and have been made worthy and have participated in the reception of the glorious, holy, life-giving and divine mysteries. Let us all give thanks to one and one accord and glorify the God their giver. Glory be to him and his unspeakable gift. Let us pray, peace be with us. It is fitting, my Lord, all the days. It is fitting, my Lord, all the days. And it is just at all times and proper every hour to give thanks, worship, and praise in the fearful name of your majesty. By your grace, my Lord, you have made worthy the weak nature of mortal man. To sanctify your name with the spiritual being And to partake in the mysteries of your gift And to take delight in the sweetness of your words And to lift up voices of praise and thanksgiving to your exalted Godhead At all times, Lord of all, Father, Son and Holy Spirit forever Amen Christ our Lord, our Lord, our King, our Saviour, our life giver, and the one who forgives our sins, who by His grace and mercy is deemed us worthy to receive His precious and all sanctifying body and blood. Grant us to please Him in our thoughts, words, deeds, and affairs. And may this and us which we have received and are receiving to be us, my Lord, for the pardon of death and the forgiveness of sin, for the great hope of the resurrection from the dead, and for new life in the kingdom of heaven, with all who have been well pleasing before you, in your grace and mercy is forever. Amen. Amen. Damlins my yawar are put so hak, irev nasha kayin la kwadish, kwadish, kwadish. Awud vish my yawar nit kwadish mak, teti mal kyota, nikhvi siwiana, aikin nat vish my yawar ah. Awlan lag masun kanan yomana. Was Wokland Hobi, I can not have so can I have a lot of Lisiona, Illa Pasan Min Pisha, Mito Tila, Himal Kyota, Hila, this got a alam, Alina, me, Laura, Valor of Head Kudisha. Alam Wadam Malalam Ami Mami Awad Vishmaya Nit Kadesh Mak Tethi Mal Kyota Kadesh 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 Awad Vishmaya 
blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord and has invited us to his kingdom and called us and brought us near to his desirable blessings which pass not away neither depart nor be loosened as he promised us and fulfilled for us in his life-giving gospel and said to the blessed company of his disciples Truly, truly, I say to you, whosoever eats my body and drinks my blood dwells in me and I in him. And I will raise him up at the last day, and he shall not come into judgment, but he has passed from death unto life eternal. May he bless our congregation, God our assembly, and make our people excellent which came and took delight in the power of his glorious holy life-giving and divine mystery and with the living sign of the cross of our lord may you be sealed and guarded from all harm hidden nor open now and at every season and forever and ever My dear friends, on this auspicious occasion, I extend my sincere gratitude to our Bishop Maraugin and our, my fellow priest friends to make this Kurbana such a beautiful moment. May God bless them all. Shalom, shalom, peace be with you. Shalom, shalom, my child. Shalom. Shalom, peace be with you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom, peace be with you. Shalom, shalom, my child. Shalom, shalom, peace be with you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. ശരീരരക്താന്തിക്കുന്നതിന് <laughs> <laughs> 